Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. This is going to be our Thursday morning first look at the beach in North Naples, Florida. It's 6.50 a.m., still kind of dark here. Sunrise is at 7.06. Breezy. The surf is still up. A rip current statement in effect. 80 degrees, going to get up to about 90. A high heat advisory in effect. It's going to feel a lot warmer than it actually is. Still pretty dark out there in the Gulf of Mexico. Hey, this morning's first look is brought to you by our friends at Slancha Irish Whiskey. Slancha, the Irish toast for cheers. Here's to your health, Slancha. Find your Slancha moment at slanchawhiskey.com. We have our blue moon out here, our full blue moon. You'll see that little dot out there in the Gulf. Keeps going in and out from behind the clouds, coming in and out from behind the clouds. Beautiful. We'll take a stroll up the beach here during my live feed, see what Vanderbilt Beach looks like after yesterday's high tides. I know Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park is closed. The parking lots are actually fl uh, full of sand up there. The two parking lots that were open, lots one and two. So I don't know how long it's going to take them to clean those up. Storm clouds. I don't think we're going to see any rain this morning, but they sure are beautiful looking clouds. Back behind me, I saw some lightning earlier this morning. These clouds are way down by Marco Island. Awesome lightning. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit here for you. I have seen a few people out here walking the beach this morning. I'm not alone. Love coming out here early in the morning. Hit that share button if you're liking what you're seeing. I don't know how you couldn't like what you're seeing. Come back out to a wide shot here. Second thought, maybe we might get a little rain on us. I don't know. I was hoping I stayed dry this morning. That's where the lightning was earlier. If you're watching on Facebook, if you appreciate my efforts getting up early to share these early morning views with you send some stars i get a penny for each star that you send nowadays every penny counts come out to the beach and you go in the water today just be aware that there might be some debris out there that kind of got worked loose leftover debris from Hurricane Ian up to the north of us the further north you go the more damage 
from Hurricane Adalia. I guess Charlotte County, they had homes got flooded, roads flooded, Fort Myers Beach, some flooding. Keep all the folks that were in the path of that nasty storm in your thoughts and prayers as you go about your business today. We dodged a big bullet here in Naples. Very thankful. Very thankful. Glorious, glorious. One last look behind me. Another pan out into the Gulf. Another shout out to our friends at Slancha Irish Whiskey. Slancha, the toast of Ireland. Cheers. Here's to your health, Slancha. Find your Slancha moment at slanchawhiskey.com. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering about the tide, right now we're about an hour away from low tide here, so the tide's still going out. The tide, high tide will probably be a little higher than normal, just because that wind's coming in off the gulf still. Again, hit that share button if you're liking what you're seeing. Tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. And thanks for hanging out with me. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally-ho, everyone. Tally-ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.